What's up everybody? Welcome to Best Massage Tech where today I'm taking a look at the Bob and Brad D6 Pro Massage Gun. So at this point on my channel, I think I've reviewed almost every massage gun that Bob and Brad sells on Amazon. So when I found out that they had a new massage gun that has some specifications that are eerily similar to one of my favorite massage guns, I knew I had to check it out. And so in today's video, I'm going to talk about what comes with the device out of the box. I'll talk about some of those specifications and features, and I will also show myself using it and provide some thoughts and feedback. So to start the video off, let's take a look at what comes with the device out of the box. So out of the box, everything does fit in its own carrying case. This is pretty standard for the Bob and Brad devices. The case looks very similar to their other devices cases. You've got a handle with a rubberized grip on the top. You've got two zippers. The case is pretty sturdy, rigid. You have the Bob and Brad uh, little decal or emblem there on the corner of it. When you open up the case, you see a few different things, but everything has its own spot in the case. So I'll start with everything on the top here. So first thing you see is a instruction guide for how to heal with massage. So this is a guide on how to massage all different parts of your body, both using a massage gun or not using a massage gun. So pretty useful uh, literature there. You have a full user manual. This just shows some specifications, features, and then in the back it just gives you a, another quick guide on how much time to spend on each area when you are massaging. Then you have a little plastic bag that has uh, two spare rubber gaskets. Those go on your attachment heads. A lot of their devices come with these. I've never had to use them, but they're just there in case something breaks. And then you do have a charging cord. This is a battery powered device, so you do need to fully charge the device uh, before first use. The other end of it here is the charging block. So this is a USB-C to USB-C cord. The next thing you see is the device itself, which does look like this. This looks very similar to if uh, you ever saw the Craft Gun, which was around a couple years ago. It also looks very similar to the Theragun. So obviously unique shape here. On it, you've got the Bob and Brad branding on either side. You've got some holes for ventilation. You have the massage shaft here. It's got sort of this uh, you know, diagonal diamond shape uh, design to it. The handle itself is a triangular grip, so it fits really nicely in your hand. The whole thing is matte black, sort of a not really rubber feel, but it's non-slip almost. Uh, and then you have a USB-C charging port on the bottom, and then you've got your controls here with an OLED screen. So that's that. In order to charge it, again, you just plug this USB-C cord into it. They recommend that you charge it for, I think it's three and a half hours before first use, uh, and it does take about that long to fully charge it as well. And then the last thing you see in the case is this other little zippered pouch. No branding whatsoever on it, but this is gonna be all the attachment heads. It does come with seven different attachment heads, and most of these attachment heads are new for Bob and Brad in terms of the material. So they are all now more of a closed cell foam. This is gonna be very similar to the TheraBody uh, attachment. So this is sort of a flatter dome attachment. Again, has some give there. You have a firm foam ball. This is not a closed cell foam, but this is more similar to some of their other attachments. So this has a little bit of give, but this is gonna be a firmer attachment. You have a wedge, which feels like it's got some hard plastic in it and then coated with this foam. You have a dampener or more of a ball shape. Again, that same foam with some give. You have a flat head attachment that has a little bit of give, but this is gonna be firmer than the ball. You have a bullet head, again, firmer, but more of a, a thumb sort of attachment. It's hard plastic covered in foam. And then lastly is sort of an, an air cushion attachment that has a little bit of give there. And this is probably uh, the softest attachment that they had. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the flat head attachment in it. In order to put the attachments in, you do just press them in. They come out real easily, but once they're in, they do stay in. So that is what that looks like. To talk about some of the specifications and features of this. So what is really impressive with it is that it does have a 16 millimeter stroke length. So that is gonna match the highest stroke length that I've seen in the market for massage guns. I'm somebody that personally loves a more aggressive massage. The 16 millimeter stroke length, again, that's gonna be the distance that this massage head is gonna move back and forth. So you're gonna get a nice deep percussive massage there. 
The stall force on this is also really impressive. So it's 85 pounds and I actually haven't even been able to stall it when I was trialing it. So I will go ahead and turn it on in order to show that stall force, you will see the stroke length a little bit. In order to turn the device on, you just press and long hold the top button on the back and it will immediately come on here. So this is a six speed device. So when it comes on, you're gonna see you've got your battery life, it's gonna say M1 and then it's gonna show your speeds. So I'll just cycle through the speeds here quick before I go ahead and show the stall force. So it's gonna go all the way from 1500 percussions per minute all the way up to 2500 percussions per minute. So this is 1500, go cycle it up there. 1700, 1900, 2100, 2300, and then 2500 there. So this is on the highest speed. We'll go ahead and test the stall force again. They say 85 pounds. I have not been able to stall it. So now again, most of the time when you are using this, you should just be floating over your tissues, kind of going up and down very slowly every few seconds for each muscle. But if you're somebody that's interested in a very aggressive massage, getting into those glutes, those quads, those hamstrings and, and pressing really hard, you're not gonna have to worry about this stalling. So in order to turn it off, you just press and long hold that top button again, it'll shut off. Now you heard the noise there. The noise is definitely a little bit more unique of a sound. It doesn't have really a motorized sound. It sounds almost more like electric sounding, um, more of sort of like an electric toothbrush, I guess is what I would compare it to. But when I measured the sound, I got it somewhere between 60 to 68 decibels from the lowest end to the highest end. So pretty much right in range with other devices that I've seen. Most massage guns nowadays are relatively quiet compared to the original ones that were really, really loud and almost sounded like mini jackhammers. So, um, you know, pretty impressive there with the sound. Now, in addition to being a six speed device, it does also have four different modes. So I will turn it on again here. So when you see it come on, it says M1. M1 is just the mode where you can cycle and manually adjust the speeds. But if you press and hold the bottom button here, which is also the down arrow, you'll see it'll cycle to a couple different modes. So uh, M2, and actually I'm gonna pull out the instruction manual here because I wanna make sure I read these correctly uh, in terms of what each mode does. So again, to cycle those, you just quick press that. So you'll see it goes to M2 there. So M2 is gonna go incrementally uh, from 1500 up to 2500 and go in five seconds and just cycle that repeatedly. So it'll go back down to 1500. M3 is gonna be a decreasing mode. So it's gonna start high and then go down. So pretty much the opposite of M2, you're gonna hit all those speeds in between, uh, but just a little bit different pattern there. And then M4, they call it the triangle wave mode. So it's gonna build up and then build back down. And with all of these, they are gonna have a 10 minute auto shut off. Um, it's just gonna turn off after that 10 minutes. You can just go ahead and turn it back on. But let's just go ahead and go to M4 and just show that as an example. Hit the quick button so you see there. It's gonna go ahead and just automatically adjust speeds every five seconds. So it sort of has those pre-programmed routines in there. And again, to turn it off, you just go ahead and press and hold that button. So this is also an adjustable device. So this uh, arm on it is adjustable to six different angles. So there is a button on the side of it here, just sort of where your thumb kind of goes when you're holding the device. You just depress that button and you can adjust the angle on this to six different angles. So it does click in once it's locked in, you can go vertically here. Now a lot of these adjustables, uh, adjustable angles are gonna be great for if you are trying to get your back or you know reach different parts that are a little bit harder to reach. It's just a little bit easier when you can adjust the angle, but it's really gonna even be more important if you're treating somebody else. So it becomes a lot easier to treat someone else with your hands on it here and just being able to adjust it to different angles is really helpful in that. But uh, certainly the benefit of the adjustable angle is mostly to get your backside and get a little bit more aggressive into certain tissues that you're trying to get into. Now the battery life on this, uh, as I mentioned earlier, they want you to charge it for three and a half hours, but once it is fully charged, it will last up to three hours depending on what speed and what force you're applying against it. The battery is not removable, so it is built into this device. Uh, because the battery is built in, it is mostly up in the front half here. It is a little bit heavier of a device, so it is uh, 2.8 pounds. It is very evenly balanced though when it's in your hand. It doesn't feel like it's gonna tip forward like some other uh, devices that I've tried. It does have a pretty good uh, you know, balance to it overall. 
Um, the price of this right now is currently $199, which is an insane price for what you're getting for this device. I usually have another device that I recommend is the highest value or the best value in massage guns, but I'm gonna replace that. I think this is the most valuable massage gun that you can get dollar for dollar. Now certainly there's some other things that you might favor uh, that the Theraguns have that I'm a big fan of, but if you don't want those things like Bluetooth and app compatibility, uh, something like that, like you're able to actually control the device to any speed uh, from your phone. The removable battery is something that I think is a pretty big value in terms of always having a fully charged device on hand, but Overall, for $199, I know if you're getting on an Amazon too, there's also some coupons you can click and get uh, even some better discounts, like an extra $10, $15 off. So make sure you look around if you are buying this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for that. It does come with a one-year warranty. Overall though, this is a really, really impressive device. Now a couple other things, in the instruction manual, it did mention that uh, there was a force meter. They call it the strike force meter. I wasn't able to find anywhere where that shows up, but it did show it in the instruction manual as something that would show up on this screen that just when you're pressing on it, it shows you how much force you're using. I didn't see any of that, but again, just to show everything there, it's quiet. You've got a lot of different handles that you can grip onto it. I would say the one thing maybe with this design of it is that this part of it is a little bit narrow for trying to grip. So if this was maybe you know just another finger width apart it would be easier to grip onto it but really you can still get in there and grab it you've got a bunch of different angles you can grab it so this is sort of you know their their version of the the top theragun and they've done a great job of competing with it you know it's got same stroke length it's got a higher stall force you've got a lot of speeds you got the adjustability so i really don't have a lot of negative things to say about this i think the attachments are all great it comes with a lot of different attachments the adjustability is great so Again, uh, if you guys have questions about this, please go ahead, drop them in the comments down below. I will always do my best to try to answer those. Otherwise, that is the Bob and Brad D6 Pro. That's a review. Enjoy your recovery.